Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek uh, video. In this video, I'm going to describe how to re quickly replace an ordinary uh, wall outlet to another wall outlet that has the uh, USB plugs. So let's get started. Step one, you would want to make sure that um, the electricity has been turned off. I'm using a circuit tester and there is no light coming on, which means that everything is turned off at the breaker. Next, we open the cover by unscrewing the one screw here in the middle and we will unscrew the top and bottom screws here. These are pretty long screws, so it's easier to use a powered screwdriver. Uh, these screws usually doesn't come off completely. Um, they have a plastic washer or retainer washer at the back of it. So they just hang like that. So once you get it open, um, go ahead and, and try to pull out gently as much as you can without, um, I guess, undoing any cable internally. So make sure that you are careful not to touch anything just in case it's not fully turned off. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, identify uh, what cables are coming into this particular box and comparing it to what we have to wire on the new outlet and making the uh, the plan so first uh, you would want to examine that the uh, the black cables or which are called the hot cable uh, usually these are uh, where the electricity actually going to be flowing from and then uh, it's going to flow through the uh, common or neutral wire here um, again um, you should make sure first that these are uh, not hot and uh, make sure that they are turned off before you touch any of these uh, leads so there are two black cables and then two white cables here and what you want to do is get those um, to be hooked up on a new plug here. The white cables, there are two holes here and uh, we are going to straighten out the copper um, cable wire, um, strip them bare to the bare cable. And there's a strip gauge here showing you that the, the strip wire should be about this long, which is a little bit more than half an inch. And that's how much it should go into these holes. So the two white cable should go into these holes and then the two black cables should go into these holes. It doesn't really matter which up, which one is up, which one is at the bottom uh, because they're both going to be just shorted together. So this is not a switch. This is just a wall outlet, which means that uh, the reason why we have two cables on each color is because this uh, outlet or device here is also doing the relay kind of like connecting all the other plugs um, in the room in series so if you have um, uh, if they're not connected in series uh, if this device is not connect them, connecting them together then the other plugs uh, after this particular outlet is not going to work so I'm just going to unscrew all these uh, cables and we're going to be straightening uh, the cables straight so that they can go into these holes and um, um, and then screw them back together
Okay, now that we have all the cable straightened out, um, we want to get the actual deft. As you can see here, uh, there's still a little bit of copper showing, which means that we can trim that a little bit. So even that's a little bit too long. Yeah, so um, I never understand how, uh, actually I do. See, as you can see here, um, as indicated, this is a bit too long. So we're gonna trim about uh, one eighth or two eighth or a quarter inch basically off this cable. Okay, now that they are trimmed, all we have to do is make sure that they are put in at the right spot. So the white ones goes to uh, this side. So white and white goes to here. So we're just gonna just put the cable in and push them in all the way. And then the, get a screwdriver. Tighten it. It doesn't matter which one you do first, obviously. Make sure you tighten it really good. And then the, um, this side here is are the black ones. And it's not going in. Okay, there you go. It just went in. And the next one goes all the way in. Again, same thing. Make sure they're very tight and make sure that they're all the way in. I don't like any copper expose um, simply because when I put in this particular box in and the, uh, the ground uh, wire is usually exposed without any uh, sleeve or um, rubber or plastic coating on it. And uh, if your cable uh, copper is exposed, you can possibly come in contact with ground and short that out. So that's why I don't like any exposed wire. So it should be just as clean as that. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is uh, connect the ground and we should be ready to go. Okay, now we got all the connection um, done and uh, we're ready to uh, organize the cable. Usually I organize it by uh, planning how it will actually fold as I push uh, this device into the wall. Basically, usually I, I use like an accordion uh, type of fold. So it goes up, down, up, down. That's the most efficient as you can see there. I already kind of prepped it where this, this part right here is gonna go down and this part right here is gonna go up. So I've kind of give it a, a pre um, initial plan and then you can just push it in and it should follow that plan. Make sure that you're not pinching any cable, uh, breaking any cable as you push this in. Once you're able to push it in where the screws are co contacting the, uh, the screw holes, you can take your power screwdriver and screw it in. Okay, before screwing this one in all the way, I usually want to make sure that I adjust for centering the position of the switch and don't screw one side in all the way without screwing the other side. So try to balance out, screwing a little bit on the top and then screwing a little bit on the bottom and then switching back and forth a few times until they're both tight. Okay, I usually uh, want to finish off by hand tightening or 
feeling how tight the uh, actual last few turns are and that's tight enough <clears throat> and then we would observe to see if that is kind of uh, straight and it looks good to me it looks uh, quite straight and uh, we should be ready uh, to put the uh, the new plate so we have to change the plate because obviously this doesn't work here anymore um, usually whatever brand or um, wall outlet that you buy will supply a new plate also for you to cover this and then the plate will screw the new plate most likely will screw on using these two holes here one here and one here it will not be using something in the middle like that and um, this is the uh, old outlet um, I will keep that um, in case I need it for somewhere else in the house okay so I have a uh, cover um, that we're gonna put on this so just uh, line it up to the hole and screw in the uh, the two white screws. Don't over tighten because you will actually press the uh, the plastic inwards and you can see that is actually not straight all right well that's about it um at this time all you have to do is just flip the breaker back on and, and test to make sure that this is working properly um but uh, yeah it's just as easy as that uh, it takes about um probably 10 minutes um if you're already familiar and comfortable with all this process and um uh, another point that I would like to make before I finish up the video is these does not consume power until they're actually used. So that's the great thing about having uh, these USB plug here. They are actually not on and uh, I have tested it. They don't consume any power. There's no vampire drain until they're, they're being used. So it's pretty safe uh, just to replace as many as um you a uh, wall outlet to usb plug as you need but don't go too crazy because they obviously they're, they're still a lot more costly than the regular wall outlet thank you for watching this video uh, if you like the content and find it useful please give it a like or a thumbs up i would appreciate it and helps with my channel um, i'm also going to put a link in the description to where i bought these USB wall outlet really cheap on Amazon and uh, Please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye. bye. Thank you for watching Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you